I've dealt in antique pottery all my life and published books about contemporary pottery and antique pottery for collectors. And a natural development was at some stage in my life to start making pottery. I left the Royal College of Art in the early 60s. I had a fashion business at Long and Marion Fall. It was called Fall and Tupping. We had a shop in Carnaby Street. We, we made clothes for young people when they didn't exist. I was able to look at the early work of William Moorcroft and say this is a, a design on the round and I could emulate that by using dress pattern techniques where you divide the pot into centre front, centre back, side seams and you design and put lines round, horizontal lines and therefore you could fit a pattern onto those lines so they were able to completely cover the pot and pattern. It's always been important to us that the, the pots are thrown. We could cast the pots maybe cheaper and quicker, but we like to throw pots. This is one of the, the oldest and uh, most fundamental of pottery skills, is throwing a pot. So ours are all thrown on the wheel and by Rory McLeod. As I was trained as a designer, it wasn't that important what you designed. And the joy of designing on pottery was that you didn't have to source the fabric, you didn't have to make sure that the person stood still while you did the fitting. You didn't even have to size it particularly. You could just choose your colours, your pattern, everything. It was a sheer joy. So the chance of using lovely bright colours, putting lots of, of work onto it, drawing over and over again, was, was such a luxury to me. It's been great fun developing the, the chess set this year and uh, we're very fortunate to have Alan Pepper here as our modeler. Alan's trained at Pool Pottery and is a very skilled modeler and a lot of potters have made chess sets over the, over the millennium. So there's something mysterious and magical about chess sets and potteries. For me they go hand in glove. I think the inspiration is that you want to do something that you hope hasn't been done before. And so you do something that may, it isn't, it isn't guided by whether it will sell or not. It's whether or not it's contributing something new to the idea of a pot, which is where Button comes in, because I've been doing this now for 20 years, and so I'm getting rather stale. But he's coming in with a whole new, new take on the thing. He can see where we're going and what we're trying to achieve. So I see the pottery getting more exciting and more um, generous in scale and subject matter. The team is Richard, who knows what collectors need and um, gently encourages us to, toward being a collectible. There's Buckham, who's nodding me into the, the latest century. Then there's Nessie who runs the company basically with her tact and her training. Michelle is the PA, she organises the books, she talks to the customers. Then we have Teresa who paints like a dream. Adam who does all the complex geometric work. Michelle who is a delicate painter of plants and trees. And then Tash who's gung-ho for anything. At the moment she's doing some amazing foxes. Alan is making models. He's made a fantastic chess set. And of course there's Rory, who's our major potter, who does anything we ask him to do brilliantly. Take some earth and add the fire and colour, you produce a jewel.